Hello and welcome back to Father of Two Plays Skyrim Special Edition. Last time we went through the mines near River Run and made it to the town proper when we were there. We did some smithing and we acquired a quest to return a golden dragon's claw to a shop in town who had it stolen. We had just defeated a couple of bandits and we're ready to continue on here. Um, I feel like there will be more bandits around, but we'll find out. What's down here? Oh, hello. Some iron ore. A couple of deposits of iron ore. We might as well help ourselves. I don't see why we wouldn't. Um, ooh, an amethyst. We, don't worry, we won't be doing this all the time, mining. But when it's prudent or highly accessible like this, we might as well. I kind of wish you could swivel the camera while you were doing this. Not that it would make a big difference, but I kind of like the idea of looking around while I'm doing it, just in case somebody's sneaking up on me. Alright. Well, oh, jeez. Forgot about you. Uh, let's see Still if here. we got any armor we could put on you. What do you want me to carry? Everything. Oops, I didn't want to... Did I steal his bow? I did. I equipped it. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I suppose I could give him this bow. No. Let's give him his bow back. How do I get... There we go. Apparel. Okay, so let's see if we can equip him apparel when we find some you here. Lead, I'll follow. Um, we also helped him with his lady troubles, or that is to say, with his troubles that he had with the other man who was trying to court the lady that he is courting. Or was, is, I guess he still is. Okay, a little gold, never hurt anybody. Hello? Hello? I thought I heard somebody. Hmm. I think there might be more guys here. Oh, cool. We could see the moon. That's kind of neat. Uh, hello. Who are you? And do you like it if people shoot you with fire? Never should have come here. Guessing not. She got really, uh... The black lips. Wow. And we leveled up again. Uh, banded iron shield. Is that better? It's a little better. It's heavy armor, though. I see. I guess the shield I'm using right now is heavy as well. I'll want to switch it for a light shield when I can get a chance. Uh, I got. Oh, I didn't want to take that lantern. I guess we might as well level up. Let's take another point into health, or another ten, but you know what I mean. Um, we upped our armor already. Hmm. Smithing. What does this do? Steel smithing. Hmm. Oops. I suppose we could hang on to our perks, too. Um, let's go into... Archery? No, let's go into one-handed. Alright. We'll probably go into archery next, but we'll see. Hmm. Oh, a chest up here. Aha! Some gold! Well, I suppose we could see if he wants to wear this armor. That's all iron, though. I feel like he would be more comfortable in leather or light armor. So let's check these guys that we uh, defeated out here. Like this one. What are you wearing? Fur? Hide? Hide? Hmm. Well, let's take the boots and the bracers. I don't think that that fur armor will be especially good. But maybe if we have to give it to him, we will. Studded armor. Okay. 
Now let's see if he can equip this stuff. Come here. I'm right behind you. Uh, I need what to trade some to things carry? with you. I want you to carry the armor that I want to give you. Uh, apparel. Apparel. Let's give you that, give you that. Oh, he's automatically putting them on. Cool. Uh, studded leather. Alright. We'll just find you a helmet in the future Keep and you'll be good to go. I wonder if he uses uh, swords at all. Or just bows. I suppose we'll find out in the future here. I'll grab another sword and I'll try giving it to him and we'll find out then. Now, we can't be far from the burrow or barrow. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, cool. I turned down the brightness a little bit, but I always brighten up the videos for YouTube because YouTube tends to darken things up a bit. So I hope it's not too bright, too dark. Uh, you let me know. If it is too bright, I will fix it. If it's too dark, I'll try and fix it as well. I like things a little on the darker side when I play games, especially right now as a Khajiit, because I have this night vision. Seems pointless if I uh, don't ever need it to see at night. I think I just saw somebody there. Oh yeah, two guys. Hello. They're coming down this way. Oh, I hit him. Oh, he got me. Oh, he took him down. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Oh. How about you, sir? Loose. Loose. Oh, I missed. Oh, that got him, though. Oh, he's already dead. Too bad. <laughs> Uh, okay. We'll take your arrows for sure. Hide boots. Studded armor. Oh, there's an arrow there. We'll take that. I'm not regretting taking, uh, Balian? Is that his name? I'm not regretting taking this guy with me. Not yet, at least. Feindal, not Phalian. Feindal, the by the looks of it, High Elf? Or possibly, I guess, a Wood Elf. Yeah, no, I guess he's a Wood Elf. That's probably why he's walking around with a bow. Let's go get a view from up here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. There's the town we were in. Quite a pretty place, actually. Like I said before, I'd like to live huh? there. For realsies. Um, nothing much down this way. Oh, there's a broken down old hut or something down there. We're going to have to check that out. Maybe on the way back out. For now, let's head deeper inside. That's what she said. <laughs> um, Bleak Falls Temple. Hmm, our first dungeon. Man, I'm so happy to be back playing this. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to just get further and further into it. Oh, we got some some more bandits here. Sneak attack! What? What just happened? <laughs> I don't know what I just hit there. That was kind of funny. Nice, dropped him. Time to end this little game. Huh? <laughs> Come on. Oh. Right through the innards. Alright. Another one down. Ooh, a hunting bow. We'll take that. Uh, let's go into our inventory here. And favorite that. And unfavorite this. We could probably drop these. Uh, we don't have to yet. Um, let's equip that. A little more damage. That never hurt anybody, except the people you're trying to hit with it. Some skeevers. Gross. But also cool. Uh, we don't need a steel mace. I suppose I could try giving him a melee weapon. It looks like 
one of the bandits fell to these skeevers in the beginning here. Or was there three of them? I guess Valian might have taken this guy out, because he does have an arrow square in his chest. Feindel, not Phalian. I keep saying Phalian. I don't know who that is, but I seem to think it's that guy. Oh, uh, we'll loot all these skeevers. Why not? Some ingredients, for sure. Um, that looks like it sucks. A steel sword. Is that better than what I have? No? Let's see if we can give it to Phalian. Feindel. Jeez, I can't, I can't stop. Uh, what do you want me to all right, carry? Alright, Feindel, let's see if you are into this sword at all. Mm, steel sword? Give. Yeah, he's got it equipped now. I'm fine with you using your do bow, you want me to carry? but I thought maybe you'd want a sword too. Uh, why don't you equip that? No? Okay. Lead on. Fair enough. Do whatever you want. I just gave you the sword because I thought you might like it for if you get attacked up close. Hmm. Lots of skeevers. Lots and lots of skeevers. Ooh, a chest. Well, I broke a pick. So sue me. Amethyst? Hello, and a minor potion of healing. That's not the sneeze at. Should we give him this iron shield? If he's gonna use a sword, I got your back. And it's only one-handed. We might as well give him a shield, right? What do you right? want me to carry? Right, Feindel? Haha, <laughs> said the right one that time. Um, no, it's in apparel. Iron shield. Give. Lead on. I will. All right. Uh, looks like we got some spider webs here. Gross. Very gross. I can't imagine having to walk through those. That's disgusting. Alright. Let's stick to the shadows. <laughs> he says that he walks right in front of that torch. By that I meant just let's sneak around a little bit. Try and get the drop on our enemies. Alright. Burial urns are all empty there. Fair enough. Bandits probably looted it. That seems like their M.O. Or modus operandi. What's going on up here? Just a cave in? Hmm. Intriguing. Hmm. Alright, we'll continue on. I didn't see anything worth stopping for there, so let's keep going deeper. Got a lot of skeever tails. There also seems to be less and less skeevers the further we get in here. I guess we'll find out why in the future. Mm -hmm. Not seeing anything worth grabbing there. I mean, in, in those urns. By nothing worth grabbing, I mean they are empty, so there's literally nothing to grab worth anything. Hmm, winding on and on. Who lit these torches or braziers? Oh, there's a guy. Let's sneak up on him. Oh wait, what's he doing? Uh. <laughs> okay. Note to self: Don't flip that lever unless you know what you're doing. Uh, let's save here. Oh, there is a quick save. How did I not notice that before? Quick saving. Excellent. Oh, okay, we have symbols here, and we have symbols there, so... One plus one is seven, and I have the puzzle all figured out. Oh, we got some stuff up here, too. Uh, mostly just a potion, but at this point, a potion is just what we need. So we need snake. Snake. What's the middle one? Also snake. Also snake. And last but not least, whale. One more. There we go. Now, if my calculations are correct, this should not kill me. Aha! It opened the door instead. 
let's get out our sword just in case. So, oh, we have more books. Thief? Pickpocket increased by Revan. If the reader has not yet had the pleasure of reading this first volume in the first volume in the series on the life of Aslav Errol, Beggar, he should close this book immediately, for I shan't recap. I will tell you this much, gentle reader. When we last saw Aslav, he was a boy, an orphan, a failed beggar, running through the wild winter woods of Skyrim. Away from his home of Errolgard, he continued running, stopping here and there for many years until he was a young man. Eslov discovered that among the ways of getting food, asking for it was the most troublesome. Far easier was finding it in the wilderness or taking it from unguarded market stalls. The only thing worse than begging to get food was begging for the opportunity to work for money to buy it. That seemed needlessly complicated. No, as far as Eslov was concerned, he was best off being a scavenger, a beggar, and a thief. He committed his first act of thievery shortly after leaving Errolgard, while in the southern woods of Tumbarkar, in the rugged land near Mount Jensen, southeast of the village of Horbeld. Eslov was starving, having not eaten anything but a rather scrawny squirrel in four days, and he smelled meat cooking and then found the smoke. A band of minstrel bards was making camp. He watched them from the bushes as they cooked and joked and flirted and sang. He could have asked them for some food, but so many others had refused him before. Instead, he rushed out, grabbed a piece of meat from the fire, and winced from the burn, scrambled up the nearest tree to devour it with the bards while the bards stood under him and laughed. "'What's your next move, thief?' giggled a fair, red-headed woman who was covered with tattoos. "'How do you intend to disappear without us catching you and punishing you?' As the hunger subsided, Eslov realized she was right. The only way to get out of the tree without falling in their midst was to take the branch down to where it hung over a creek. It was a drop off a cliff about 50 feet that seemed like the wisest strategy, so Eslov began crawling in that direction. You do know how to fall, boy, called out a young Kajiti. But a few years older than Eslav, thin but muscular, graceful in his slightest movements. If you don't, you should just climb down here and take what's coming to you. It's idiotic to break your neck. We'd just give you some bruises and send you on your way. Of course I know how to fall, Eslav called back, but he didn't. He just thought the trick of falling was to... Have nothing underneath you and let nature take its course. But 50 feet up, when you're looking down, is enough to give anyone pause. I'm sorry to doubt your abilities, Master Thief, said the Khajiiti, grinning. Oh, obviously, you know to fall feet first with your body straight but loose to avoid cracking like an egg. It seems you are destined to escape us. Trying to do a Khajiit accent there. Eslov wisely followed the Khajiit's hints and leapt into the river, falling without much grace but without hurting himself. In the years that followed, he had to make several more drops from even greater heights, usually after a theft, sometimes without water beneath them, and he improved the basic technique. When he arrived in the western town of Jallenheim, on the morning of his 21st birthday, it didn't take him long to find out who was the richest person, most deserving of being burgled. An impregnable palace in a park near the center of town was owned by a mysterious young man named Soibud. Eslov wasted no time in finding the palace and watching it. A fortified palace he had come to learn was like a person with quirks and habits beneath its hard shell. It was an old palace, evidently whatever money this Sabud, Sabud, yeah I guess that's how I'd say that, had come into was fairly recent. It was regularly patrolled by guards, implying that the rich man was fearful of being burgled, of being burgled, with good reason. The most distinctive feature of the place was its tower rising a hundred feet above the stone walls, doubtless giving the occupants a good defensive view. Aslov guessed that, guessed that, that, if, that, that, if Sabud was in as paranoid as he guessed him to be, the tower would also provide a view of the palace storehouses. The rich man would want to keep an eye on his fortune. 
That meant that the loot couldn't be directly beneath the tower, but somewhere in the courtyard within the walls. The light in the tower shone all night long, so Aslov boldly decided that the best time to burgle was by the light of day, when Sabud must sleep. That would be the time the guards would least expect a thief to pounce. And so, when the noon sun was shining over the palace, Aslov quickly scaled the wall near the fort, or front gate, and waited, hidden in the cren crenulations. The interior courtyard was plain and desolate, with few places to hide, but he saw that there were two wells. One the guards used from time to time to draw up water and slake their thirst, but Eslav noticed that guards would pass by the other well, never using it. He waited until the guards were distracted, just for a second, by the arrival of a merchant in a wagon bearing goods for the palace. While they were searching his wagon, Aslov leapt elegantly, feet first, from the wall into the well. It was not a particularly soft landing, for, as Aslov had guessed, the well was not full of water, but gold. Still, he knew how to roll after a fall, and he didn't hurt himself. In the dank subterranean storehouse, he stuffed his pockets with gold and was about to go to the door, when he is which he assumed would lead to the tower. When he noticed a gem the size of an apple... Worth more than all the gold that was left, Aslov found room for it down his pants. The door did indeed lead to the tower, and Aslov followed its curving stairwell up, walking quietly but quickly. At the top he found the master of the palace's private corridors, ornate and cold, with invaluable artwork and decorative swords and shields on the walls. Aslov assumed the snoring lump under the sheets was subdued, but he didn't investigate too closely, he crept to the windows and looked out. It was going to be difficult, a, a difficult fall for Certes. For Certes? <laughs> he needed to jump from the tower past the wall and hit the tree on the other side. The tree branches would hurt, but they would break his fall, and they would. And there was a pile of hay he had left under the tree to prevent further injury. Eslov was about to leap when the occupant of the room woke up with a start, yelling, "My gem!" Eslov Eslov and stared at him for a second, wide-eyed. They looked alike, not surprising, since they were brothers. Eslov Errol's story is continued in the book Warrior. Huh. I'm actually quite interested to know. Well, let's take that book, add it to our collection. And... Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Ooh, a soul gem. What else do we have? Some gold. Alright. Where's my sword? There we go. Don't want to forget our weapons. We always must be ready. Swords at the readies, boys. Ah, that's a skeever. That's a skeever. Stand up. Stand up. That's a skeever. That's also a skeever. And that's a dead skeever. Okay. I don't want to c contract any diseases from them. That would be untoward and unseemly. Cool. We defeated them quite handily. Now, to sneak onward. S Careful to sneak, thief. Pretty sure that's something they say to you all the time when you're a Khajiit. Racism, ho! Um. Okay, nothing else in this area, it seems. Is, is someone coming? Is that I, you, Hartnir? I hear you're somebody. So Ling. Who is this man? Oh, there's a dead guy here. They always seem to have a little gold on them. We're searching. Uh, what have we going on here? It looks spidery around here. Indeed it does. Okay, we cut our way through. What's going on here? Oh yeah, oh my god. No thank you, sir. Come here. Don't let it get me! Eat flames! Eat flames! Magical though, I know it is. Leave me alone. Ah! Do not, do not attack me. All right, let's get in there. 
Keep it away from oh, me. good shot. <laughs> Ow. Ha ha. A good thing it was wounded. Crap. Get it away. We did. Just no, calm, it. calm your stuff, man. Calm your stuff down, and we will be over there shortly when we're done looting. Hello. More gold. Don't mind if I do. Mm, okay. Almost there, man. Skeever. Oh, I see. This thing's been feeding on the skeevers. Uh. Hmm. Strange. Get me out of here. I will. Just calm your stuff, man. Calm your stuff down. I will get to you when I'm good and ready. Desiccated corpse. Help me out of here. All right, just calm down. You, over here. Arvel the Swift. What you do you have to say you for it. yourself? Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Mm. Yeah, good yes, question. Where is the gold? I know how claw? it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down, and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Okay. Yeah, hand it over first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Fine. It's coming loose. I can feel it. All right. Hand it over. Hey, hey, where are you going? You fool. Oh, you Why should bloody... I share the treasure with anyone? You bloody jerk. Get back here. Lucky hit. Is it? You jerk. Oh, no. Something's waking up over there. Arvel's journal. Well, we'll get this hide helmet and give it to our friend there. Um, crap. Uh, let's go into our books here and read Arvel's journal. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Lucan Valerius, had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now, I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Okay. Bring it on, I don't you. like the looks of this. Oh, wait. Uh, I want this hunting bow set to number one. There we go. Bring it on. Aha! Let's give you some flames, shall we? Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Ancient Nord Sword? No, thank you. Um... Okay, so it looks like we have the key anyway. Are you alive? No. You are a corpse. And you're going to stay that way. Anybody else alive in here? Hmm. There's a lot of dead bodies in these nooks. I, I mean, I guess this is a burial tomb. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with your, uh, your two-handed weapon there. That seems to be the bane of my existence right now. Oh, no. No, you don't. Haha. -ha. I'm glad our friend is here with us. Good shot, my friend. Good shot. All right. A little more gold for us. Oh, another body here. Hide oh, we could give him a hide helmet. We should do that. Come here, my friend. Feindal. Still here. I know you are. What do you what want? What a me fine to friend you've been. Um. Apparel. Hide helmet. No, I don't want to wear that. I want him to have it. There we go. I need you Read to on. do something. What can I ask him to do? I guess I could have checked that out. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, we don't want to be stepping on that. I'm pretty certain of that. Please don't step on it, Fandal. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you stepping on this thing? 
That is not good. Alright, let's continue. Oh, looks like this one's alive. This one isn't as dead as it looks. A restless Draugr. And let's give him some... Oh, that's healing. <laughs> let's give him some heals. Fire. Burn! Hells yeah. Alrighty. Let's switch to our bow. And we might as well level up, I guess. Let's level up, and I think we will continue to put into health for now. And we'll up our archery. Overdraw. Bows do 20% more damage. Alright. That could be useful. Oh, we got another one here. Do we have one, like, right beside me or something? Oh, totally. Burn, baby, burn! Draw her in, burn! Oh, burn, baby, burn! Hey, leave my friend alone! Ha -ha. Take that, you creep! Nah, we don't need the iron shield. Oh, that's so satisfying. Love the combat in this. Very entertaining. Uh, we'll take your gold. We might as well. All, every little bit helps. All the gold helps. Ancient Nord Bow. That's actually quite damaging. It's very heavy, though. Mm, and the arrows weigh something? No, they weigh nothing. I guess we could take those arrows just in case. Let's check these corpses. I mean, I guess we're now grave robbers and that's not super cool of us, but hello. Come on, jump, jump. There we go. An apprentice level one. Okay, we gotta go this way. Oh, almost. We're very close there. Haha. -ha. Well done, and we got some gold. Can't loot that corpse. Let's give it another quick save here. Never know when that's going to be handy. Search that Draugr. This Draugr. Oh, didn't necessarily... Well, I guess I could equip the Hide Shield. Let's go look at our apparel. Hide Shield as compared to this iron shield, fine iron shield. Let's keep the fine iron one for now because we need to upgrade that hide shield anyway. Now you, wait. Still here. Wait here. You go on ahead. I will. All right. One, two, three. Oh, I got, took one to the face. Or the chest. Uh, let's heal anyway. No reason not to. And now we can tell our friend to come with us. We heading out? Uh, follow me. Let's get going. Well, good to have the trap turned off so we don't have to back up into it or something. Hell, yeah, that seems... That seems like it'll do... A number. That fire pot on the ceiling, I mean. Oh, we got a Draugr here. Let's feed him an arrow, shall we? Maybe two? Perhaps three. Oh. I love archery in this game. Let us pick up our arrow back. Oh, we got another one here. Hello. What happens if we hit one of these? Uh, I guess nothing for the time being. Because we killed him before he could get down and get burnt. Fair enough. Oh, we have something through that hole there. It must just be where we're heading to. Oh, we got another. Oh, wrong button. Here we go. Eat arrows, Draugr. Is 
there's another one here. Let's feed him some flames. He's got one of those two-handed swords I don't want any part of. Alright. Thanks, my friend, for shooting him in the side of the head. He's got steel arrows, it looks like. So that's handy. Makes him quite a bit tougher. Iron arrows. Yes, please. Mm, clear? Alright. Let's sneak up here. Just in case. Nothing around the corners there. We're looking pretty clear so far. Just us and the Draugr. Okay, something's gonna go down here. Oh, yeah. Are you just a straight-up Draugr? I'm not too frightened. Haha! -ha. Nice shot, Mangdell. Hey, I said his name right for once. Okay. I'm getting it. Your name? Oh. Hello. Where's that lead? I guess we'll find out. But first, we'll check this chest. No reason to take those hide brazers, in my opinion. Not right now. Alright. Quick save again. We're a little further in now. Let's see what else awaits us. Oh, now we're into a cave system. Hello. Glowing mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. Hey, is that a skull? Troll skull. Oh, cool. Hurrah! I'm going to eat you. Oh. You knocked it. You ruined it, Fandal. You ruined it. Alright, let's see what's up here. Anything? Oh, there's a dead guy here. Do you have anything for me, sir? Just a pickaxe. Oh, there's an iron ore vein here. We'll take these mushrooms. Let's check up top. Or try to again. Come on. No, nothing up here. Okay, let's harvest this iron. Because we can. We'll have to gather some leather and make new armor in the future here. I want all leather armor so I don't look like an Imperial. And then I can upgrade it all. Excellent. Now what? What awaits us ahead? Another chest. And some scrolls. Pick these mushrooms. This looks like a fall to your death. Oh, cool. Yeah? Oh, there's a Draugr there. Darn. Is he going to look at my... I think he was going to look at my arrow. Alright. Coming up here. We might as well hit him with some flames, right? Bring it. Burn! 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 <laughs> That's fun. I wish I could shoot fire from my hands. That would be amazing. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Another Draugr down. A couple more mushrooms. Ah! Jeez! How the hell did you get in front of me, Fainthal? <laughs> he scared the crap out of me. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> why, why was he all of a sudden in front of me trying to freak me out, the bastard? It worked, too. Hey, another one of my arrows. Down here. Oh, uh, we have a corpse and a skeever corpse. Anything else, though? Not really. Oh, there's a chest here. Haha, <laughs> spoke too soon. A novice chest. This way? No, other way. Fair enough, we got it. First try. Alright. 
well, I guess that was a reason to come down there. We never know if there's more than a chest, but I'm pretty sure I found everything down there. Okay, let's sneak again. I don't have to pick every mushroom, but I'm going to for now. Because I want to. Okay, if it gets too difficult here, I might just give up on them. I'm not going for that top one. Too hard, we'll continue on. Where are we getting to now? We're back into the barrow or burrow? Barrow again. So, let's be on the lookout for more Draugr. My sneak went up. Hello. You, sir, shall take an arrow to the chest. Oh, he's restless. He's a restless one. He's got a two-handed sword. I want nothing to do with that. Let's see about some flames here. Sorry, I'm just trying to burn this guy. I'm sorry, buddy. Nice, thanks, Fandal. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't trying to burn you, I swear. Bone meal, arrows, good enough. Hmm, we might as well heal quickly. Yeah, get our restoration up slowly anyway. Ooh, a chest. Apprentice level. Hello. <laughs> that was lucky. A garnet and some gold. Nothing to sneeze at. And a quick save. Oops. Bleak Falls Sanctum. Further into the dungeon. Oh. Oh? Oh. Does he pull out a sword? Because I have a sword? What if I pull out my bow? No, he keeps his out. Okay. Fair enough. He seems to just decide what he wants to do based on his own whims. Fair enough. I'm not going to tell him what to do. Mostly because I can't. the hell was that? I heard something. Maybe a trap? Oh yeah. Don't like the looks of this. Yeah, me neither. You wait here, Still buddy. Here. You go on ahead. I will. Aha. We did it. We heading out? Yes, Let's follow me, my friend. There's always seems to be a chain, like, right on the other side. Uh, what do we got in here? Ooh. Potion. Oh, poison, even. Okay. He spotted us. Oh, I missed. Oh, thanks, Vandel. Sorry. Sorry about that, my friend. Oh, hello. Let's, uh... Let's knock that down to see what happens. I guess it's a little early. He wasn't quite in it. Eat it! Slice! Miss! Nice. Heal up. Excellent. That went pretty well. Pull our sword back out here. Uh, let's continue searching. Take that stuff. That's not open. And there's nothing else in here? No. We already looted that guy, I believe. Hmm. Curious. Curious indeed. Alright, anybody else up here? No, it doesn't look like it. Doesn't sound like it either. Nothing up here? Oh, it looks like we're... Ooh. 
Don't want them to shoot those. That would be bad for us. That would be bad for business. And the business being me not dying. That's the business I'm in right now. Just a door. Hmm. Oh. What have we here? Who's this lovely lady thing? And what's with all these other people? What's with these bar reliefs? Or reliefs? Oh, there's a different guy here. He's got a couple of cool <laughs> angry looking staffs. See over here? Yeah, he's there too. There's a different guy with wings. That's kind of crazy. And a moon shape over his head. And some other guy with a fire ring. Interesting. Activate keyhole. No. Uh, it said in if, when you have the key, it's in the palm of your hand. So... How do we take a look at this? Oh, there we go. Uh, we can just spin it. Bear... Bug... Owl? So, one more. Bear, bug, owl. There's the bug. One more on here and we should have the owl. There we go. Fantastic. We figured it out. That's so cool. Okay, let's continue deeper. Deeper. Oh, we've come to quite a large room now. Oh. Oh, <laughs> cool. Bunch of bats, it sounded like. Anything else to look for in here? Let's continue around this way. Um... Oh, hello. Wow. Would you look at that? Yeah, no doubt, man. Hmm. Interesting. What's up over here? Anything? Just a waterfall? Sometimes it's hard to jump when you want to. There we go. Oh, I see. Oh, hey chest. Oh, we broke another pick. A little further down. A little further down. There we go. Amethyst, gold, auric alchem, petty soul gem, and a silver ring. Not bad. Huh. Okay. Let's quick save again. I don't know when I last did that. It was probably pretty recent. Hello. Force. Unrelenting force. Ah! <laughs> okay. No. Burn. Burn, guy. Burn. Oh, I hit Fandal. What are you doing? Watch it. I'm not trying to hit you, man. Hey, be careful. I'm being as careful as I can. Oh, he staggered me. Okay, let's uh, get our flames back out. Come on. Yes. Arrow to the head. Oh, <laughs> he stood up. He scared me there. Nice, we got him. Oh, that's my timer. Dragon stone. Hello. Steel arrow. Ancient Nord great sword of cold. We'll take that. 
amulet of Akatosh. Oh, hell yeah. Let's, uh, equip that amulet. Is it in apparel? Yes, it is. Cool. 25% faster regen. That's nothing to sneeze at. Weak frenzy poison. Okay. And a soul gem. And a chest. With some gold. Ooh, an orcish sword. Don't mind if I do. Let's, uh, let's equip that, shall we? It should be. Much better than our even our fine Imperial Sword. 12 compared to 12? Okay. Well, not that much better. It looks cooler, so let's go with that. And we will go in here and assign it to slot 2. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a little look around here. Oh, there's another chest over here. Booyah! Uh, that's everything worth taking. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Well, until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off.